Hello student, myself Nimesh Pravaka. Welcome to Process Control Lecture Series. In my previous lecture, we discussed about the multi-position control mode. That means in that lecture, we discussed what is multi-position control mode and we see the one example of multi-position control mode. That is three-position control mode. Now, in this lecture, we discuss about the floating control mode. This is the also one example of multi-position control mode. So, in this lecture, we discuss what is floating control mode and how it works. So, without wasting time, now we start floating control mode. In a floating control mode, the specific output, the controller is not uniquely determined by error. If the error is zero, the output does not change but remains at whatever setting it was when error went to zero. That means what? Here, if the error is zero, the output does not zero, but is remained at the previous position. That means in the previous position is like here, so it remains here. So this is the operation of floating control mode. When error move of zero, the controller output again begin to change. Similar to two position mode, there will be a natural zone around zero error where no change in the controller output occur. So in this control mode also the natural zone is occur when uh, uh, at that time there is a natural zone around the zero error where no change in the control output occur. So this is the floating control mode. Now we discuss about the type of floating control mode. So mainly two types of floating control mode. First one is single speed and the next one is multi speed. So what is single speed control mode? What is multi, multi speed control mode? We will discuss. So first one we start with single speed control mode. In this mode, the output of the control element changes at a fixed rate when the error exceeds the natural zone. That means here the output is changed but the changing speed is remain fixed. That means we drive one vehicle at fixed speed. That means what? And we drive one vehicle at 60 km per hour. That means we fix our speed. So here the controller output changing speed we have which fixed here in a single speed control mode. The equation for single speed floating mode is dp by dt is equal to plus or minus km where ep is greater than delta ep. So this is the mathematical representation of single speed control mode. Here delta v by dt indicate the rate of change of controller output with time and Km indicates the rate of constant and delta EP indicates the half the natural zone. So this, this is the three term of the equation. 
If the equation number is integrate for the actual controller output, so we get P is equals to plus or minus K into T plus P0. We know the derivation and integration. So here simply we take the integration of equation 1. So delta P by dt and we take the integration. So derivation and integration is cut. So we get here only P. And the right hand side we take the integration. So we get the Kf into T and the constant P0. And when the delta P, when the EP is greater than the delta P. When P0 indicates the controller output at T is equal to 0 time. And the equation so that the present output depends on the time history of error that have previously occurred. Now we discuss the graphical behavior of the single speed control. So here you can see this is the graph of the single speed control board. The single speed control action as output rate of change to input error is shown in the figure. The graph in a figure B shows as reverse acting controller. Now another question comes in our mind. What is reverse acting control mode? Which means the controller output decrease when error exit the natural zone which correspond to negative KF in an equation. Normally what happens? Controller output is increased as error is increased. But we know, we discussed in the first lecture, there are two types of controlling mode, direct action and reverse action. So here we have taken the example of reverse action. So at that time, that means if error is increased, at that time controller output is decreased. The graph shows that the controls, controller start at some output P0. You can see here, the graph indicates the output is start at the time the, at the P0. The time T1, the error exit the natural zone, the controller output decrease at a constant rate until T2. T2. When the error again fall below the natural zone limit. So here you can see the graph. This so the controller output decrease at a constant rate until T2. When the error again fall below the natural zone limit. At T3, the error fall below the lower limit of the natural zone causing the controller output to change until the error again move within the available band. So this is the behavior of the single speed control mode. So you can see the changes of the controller output according to the error is changed. Here we have taken the example of reverse acting mode. So don't confuse what is a reverse and direct action, we already discussed it, okay? Now we discuss second one type of floating mode. So the second one type is the multiple speed control mode. First we discuss single speed and here we discuss the multiple speed. Now you can understand by using the uh, by Reading this map, multiple speed. We know in the single uh, single speed, that means what? The controller speed is fixed at some, that means the output is changed, but at the fixed speed. Here, the output is changed at a different speed. That means 
At T1 time, the speed is different than the speed at the T2 time. That means at the T1 time, we can consider the speed is uh, 20 millisecond, uh, 20 km per hour. Just example. And at the T2 time, the speed is 120 km per hour. So the speed is changed. In this mode, several possible speeds are changed by controller output. Usually the rate increases as the deviation exceeds certain limit. For speed change point EPI error, there will be corresponding output rate change KI. The expression can be given by delta P by dt is equals to plus or minus KFR and here the EP is greater than delta EP. This is the condition or we can say the expression for the multi multiple speed controller. See, this is the graphical representation of multiple speed controller. So you can see, this is the speed is changed at a different time. If the error exit EPI, then the speed is KFR. If the error is rise to exit EP2, the speed is increased KF2 and so on. So you can see as step change then the F, then the, the speed of controller output is also changed. So as per situation you can change the speed of the controller output. You require very fast control or require the very fast output. So at that time, you can increase the speed of the controller output and we require the slow control. So at that time, we can decrease the speed of the controller output. So this is a multi, multiple speed control mode. The graph of multi-speed mode is shown in figure. Floating control mode. So now, what are the application of floating control mode? So, we discuss here, primary applications are in a single speed controller with natural joint. This mode is well suited to self-regulation process with a very small lag or delay time, which implies small capacity process. When used for the large capacity system, cycling must be considered. So, we know there are the two types of floating control mode. First one is a single, single speed and the second one is multi-speed. So here we discuss about the application of single speed controller. So single speed controller is suitable when the self regulation process with a very small leg or the tail time. So in this lecture, we discuss about the floating control mode. So, in this lecture, we study what is floating control mode, what are the application of floating control mode, and what are the types of floating control mode. What are types? There are mainly two types. One is a single speed, and second one is the multi speed. So, in the GTU, there are many types. Uh, this question is very important as per GTU. So in the GTU you can ask the writer uh, which are the different type of the floating control mode or in the 7 marks also ask like uh, explain the floating control mode. So this is the most important control mode. Thank you.